Hi, this is Karthik from Design School by WP Algorithm.com, and in this video, we'll discuss all the new features coming to Elementor Pro 3.6. Now, the first feature is Page Transitions feature. I've already explained this. I made a separate video on that. Link to that will be in the description. But essentially, you can go to Elementor, click on Experiments, and under Experiments, just make sure that Transitions is active. Once it's active, click on Save Changes. Also, try to clear all your cache. That way, all the changes will be successfully reflected. Now, you can basically go to any page. I'll just reload this page. You can click on the hamburger menu, click on site settings, and click on page transitions. So, from here, you can pick your page transitions. So, basically, these are the animations displayed when a page is loading. So, you can pick a background. You can pick a colored one or a gradient one, right? The way you want. You can pick any color you want. I'll pick blue, this blue. And you can pick entrance animation, right? This is when you're entering a page. And exit animation, this is when you're leaving a page. So transition is applied when you leave a page and enter a page. So fade out will be applied to the page that you're leaving. Fade in will be applied to the page that you're entering, right? Again, preloader is the icon or the logo that appears along with your whole background, right? You can pick an icon or an image. I'll pick an image. I'll basically pick my logo. I'll just pick this image. So you can see that in action or you can also pick an animation, right? You can pick a circle, circular dots. You can pick anything that you want and that will also show up along with the whole page background, right? So once this is the animation, you can click on preview trans page transition to see the transition in action. So that's how it's going to be applied. And note that this transition will be applied only when the page is loading. So if the page loads really quick, this animation will be really short, right? Just hit update. Now you can go to your own site. And just like that, the animation is applied. You can move between any page and you can see that animation or page transitions in action. As simple as that. All you need to do is to go to site settings and enable them. You can click on hamburger menu in any page or template and click on site settings and just make sure that they're turned on here. And once they're turned on here, they'll be available across your website. You don't have to configure anything. It's just that easy. Now, the second feature is called Purchase Summary Widget. This is specific to WooCommerce. If you don't have WooCommerce installed, you just need to go to your plugins and make sure that WooCommerce is installed and activated. You can simply click on Add New and search for WooCommerce, right? That is the plugin that converts your websites into online stores. You just need to have this installed and all configured. So once you have that, you can create any page I'll call it your order summary. Just click on add new page. Just give it a title. And on the right hand side, click on template. Choose Elementor full width. Just hit publish. And click on edit with Elementor button once the page is published. Now all you need to do in this is to add the purchase summary widget, right? So that comes with Elementor Pro 3.6. Just click and drag it. You can configure it the way you want, right? You can change this to any data that you want. You can change this to product rating, product, anything else, right? So these are payment details and you can customize each of them. If you have custom fields, you can link them to dynamic tags or you can simply leave them as is. All of them will be displayed just like that. So you can configure all the options in here if they're not showing properly already. And you can style them the way you want. So this is what will be shown once the user completes the checkout, right? So this is the purchase summary or order summary. Let's also have a heading widget that specifies that. I'll click on this purchase summary widget. Let's give it a background. Maybe that. You can tweak it to your heart's content, right? You can have any color. You can change the payment details right you can change the color of the title in that 
see that you can change the order details let's change the title color to blue let's change the items to green so you can see all those things in action you can customize it and tweak it the way you want and just hit publish or update and now it will ask you to set this as your summary page you can simply click save or you can actually configure it later in your site settings right you can click on the hamburger menu when you're in any elementor page or a template click on site settings click on woocommerce and make sure that you your page is selected if not you can simply click that and just type the name of the page and select it so it's this page it's already set so you don't have to worry about anything if you don't set it while publishing the page well that's another way you can do it okay now let's test this out so i'll be going to my shop and making an order and we'll see if the purchase summary is in action i'll click on visit store again the page transition is there i just click on add to cart this is just a dummy test to show you how things work i just added two products i just click on view cart i'll click on proceed to checkout and let's fill in some details I think that should be enough. I just clicked on place order. And just like that, the purchase summary is designed or shown as the way we designed in here. So basically any design changes that you make here will be reflected once the order is made, right? So this is the brand new purchase summary widget that shows the user what he has purchased so far. And it's really a great way to customize each and every tiny detail in the purchase summary with the brand new purchase summary widget so that's the second feature in elementor pro 3.6 now the third feature in elementor pro 3.6 is called notices right when you're adding a product to your cart when you're removing it or when there's some error you get a notice from woocommerce saying something has gone wrong or something's happening you can configure the style of this just click on the hamburger menu click on site settings in any elementor page or a template and click on woocommerce again and down here you'll find something called notices just click that and it says notice type you can click on this plus or click on any empty area and pick any of the notices and once i picked error notice you can see that this is how an error notice will be shown right so let's actually configure that let's configure the color of error notice let's make it red so it's clearly visually visible so that would be a great notice you can also customize the other things that you can see here i'm just going with the color and you can maybe adjust the typography or something so that should do for me in a similar way you can configure other notices so message notices you can see the preview at the top of the page again i'll click on this i'll click on info notices now that all the notices are picked that plus button is gone and you can get a preview of each of the notices in here again customize them to your heart's content right i'll pick blue for this maybe so this is a success message let's pick info notices let's pick an icon color something like that right so that is it I'll update this and to test it out I'll go to my shop again we'll try adding some products now that is added to the cart I'll just click on view cart I'll click on proceed to checkout now if I remove my first page or first name which is mandatory and click on place order you can see the error field in action right that is gone so you can see the error notice is the way we designed in here right so you can design other notices they appear automatically right it depends on woocommerce when these appear so if you have added or used a dynamic way to add products well you may get this message notice you can get this info notice and so on if you go to the checkout page without actually adding any products in the cart you might see another notice so let's actually click on view and now you see checkout is not available while your cart is empty so this is a message notice i guess or info notice right so so on and so forth so this is how you can configure notices and actually style them the way you want 
to make them consistent with the design of your website and this is the third feature and there's one more thing I want to mention. I'll go back to my checkout page and within this checkout page, you can also configure or mention where your WooCommerce notice should appear. I already have my WooCommerce notice in here. You can search for a widget called WooCommerce notice. It's this. You can drag it anywhere on your page and the notice will only be shown there on the page on this particular checkout page. Similarly, you can add it to other parts of your website and They'll only appear wherever you're adding them. If you place it at the bottom, notices will be shown at the bottom. If you're placing it above this, you'll see notices above this. So this is again another new feature in Elementor Pro 3.6. So those are the new features coming to Elementor Pro. If you don't have Elementor Pro, you can get it from a link in the description. I'll get a small kickback from it if you want to support the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.